So my name is Bhargav. Uh, born and brought up in Bangalore, India. I did my bachelor's in uh, computer science and engineering um, at a college called Government Sri S K S JTI. Um, it's a government college, uh, and uh, I did my four years bachelor there. Um, before that, I was like pretty heavily into computer science and coding and programming and stuff. So it was sort of like an obvious career path for me. Um, and then uh, after graduating, I've been working at different startups in Bangalore, um, mostly doing iOS stuff, iOS programming, uh, basically building Apple iPhone apps. Um, and that's been going on for about three years now. Uh, and yeah, currently I, I work at a mental health startup. We're trying to build, you know, um, you know, access for more people for mental health resources and stuff like that. Uh, so I have an admit from uh, State University of New York, Buffalo. Uh, I've applied for masters in computer science, and uh, uh, I basically applied to like eight colleges. Um, heard back from two. Uh, I actually applied for Spring, and I got an admit for Paul, the third admin. Um, but that's about it. I'm, I'm planning to go in August this year, 2022. Um, looking forward to that. Uh, more so than that, I was sort of looking for um, like some sort of interdisciplinary sciences, which computer science is a good background, but I didn't want to like specialize in it per se. So I was like looking for something like neuroscience, cognitive sciences, um, and you know, like places like a lot of universities in America offer, you can choose courses from different domains, which also relate to computer science. Um, so, but then if you want to apply directly to that course, let's say biology, neurology, any of those, you don't actually get in. You have to pass a list of uh, requirements, right? So, but I did pass the requirements for CS, so I was like, ah, oh, that's a no-brainer. I'm just gonna apply for CS and then pick the courses I want. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I, I, opt I opted for CS, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, because it's one and a half year, one and a half cents, right? Like it's comparatively cheaper in terms of tuition and cost of living in the state of New York is sort of lower as well. And I was like, okay, that makes a lot of sense, you know. And maybe if I do get into a research track, I could probably get some opportunities there because Sunny Buffalo uh, has uh, some departments or faculty who do cognitive sciences or like neuroscience. So I was like, yeah, that's, a, that's probably a good mixture for me. So yeah, that's why I applied. It. Basically, I was considering Canada at some point because there is another university, University of Waterloo, which also has one of the best faculties for neuroscience and computer science. Um, but then I realized it was sort of um, like, you know, I have a lot of friends in the US. You know, people talk about US all the time. And I was like, there's a strong network there. You know, you sort of have to leverage the advantages you have. And Canada was sort of going to be like starting from scratch. So I was like, probably favor US universities more. So I was like looking at universities that had some sort of specialty here and stuff. Um, and I found that Sunny Buffalo has a, a bunch of faculty doing neuroscience and um, cognitive sciences. They even have a PhD track specializing in cognitive sciences. So I was like, that's, that's going to be perfect. So, you know, if I do actually end up liking my research track, if I get into research, my prof, you know, I like the work, Sunny Buffalo is going to be like a good fit. So that's why I applied to the US because, you know, I have a good network here. People, a lot of people, you can always have fun, talk to people, get, get a lot of info, right? and uh, Sunny Buffalo because they have a good track in what I want to sort of specialize in. GRE requirements, local requirements, and uh, um, what else? Yeah, basically it was just these three. And uh, now because of the COVID situation, they actually waived off GRE. Um, they aren't considered. So even if you do send in GRE scores, uh, University of Buffalo is actually waiving them off. So they won't even consider your GRE scores. Um, uh, other than that, TOEFL is still a requirement. You need to have 100 plus. Um, I think they've lowered that to 95 as well. Again, when I was applying, it was 100 plus. Um, I applied with GRE and TOEFL, but the requirements right now are that, which is you'd have a couple of courses that they've listed on their website uh, that you must have taken in your undergraduate, or you're going to need to do some sort of a bridge course before the semester starts, so you get acquainted to the computer science subject, um, and you need to uh, have a TOEFL score of 95 plus and there are no GPA requirements as such, thankfully. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's about it from the requirements side. I took the GRE in 2018, and uh, I got a total of 319. Um, my quant score is 162, my verbal was 157, and then TOEFL was 117. Um, and my GPA is pretty, <laughs> 
pretty substandard, I would say, which is uh, it comes to 7.1. So we don't have a GPS team of evaluation from my university, but the WAS score sort of translated to somewhere around 7.1. Tuition at least is it comes down to about fourteen thousand dollars per semester, um, per semester. So because it's a three semester um, course, not a four semester like usual other one, it comes down to about forty two thousand um, dollars. This includes insurance and other random you know miscellaneous fee that these universities put on you, and then uh, living expenses. They in their financial documents they do list it quite high. Uh, but I'm opting for off-campus housing and probably going to share housing with a couple of roommates. So the cost of living sort of comes down. Um, but overall, I sort of estimate it to be um, around another, like, let's say, $20,000 or something. But in INR, it would be somewhere close to 45 lakhs for uh, a steep semester course with fusion, stay, you know, everything sort of included. More than that, I'm sort of looking forward to um, seeing how an American university operates. Like, how do they, how do the students, because, you know, students work there, and then you have teachers as well, and you have office hours, you have all these halls, you have all these libraries, you have multiple, like, different um, uh, programs, and it's not just computer science, there's like so many other veterinary science, life science, and uh, engineering, and construction, electronics, so many, so many different disciplines, all in the same building. So I'm like very excited to see how all these people sort of mingle, how the campus looks and all that. And uh, of course, uh, Buffalo is pretty close to Niagara, so I want to see Niagara. I'm like, I'm waiting for that, definitely. Uh, can't wait for that. Um, definitely something I think every student should think about before even you know looking at a course and stuff. Um, my prospects are pretty high because the job market in the US right now is facing a labor shortage. So it means that they have a lot of lot of positions open for software developers and other professions as well. But software in general is always in high demand over there. Um, I've just looked at a lot of um, UB seniors and alumni gotten into like extremely good companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, you know, Meta, Spotify, um, all these big shot companies. And uh, the scope is looking pretty pretty well. Um, you're gonna find decent jobs that pay pretty well um, and internships are also like um, a decent offering now uh, but the only disadvantage that some people would say is because of um, Buffalo's location which is so far away from the major tech hubs right San Francisco, New York City, probably Texas even some would say at this point, um, Seattle right um, but uh, in my fair defense um, we've moved the post-COVID era is so digital and online. I don't think career fairs and in-person meetings are really that big of a thing. I would say probably 95% of all your hirings are going to be over a call just like this. Um, so it means your college location does not matter as much. And as long as you have the skills to back it up, there is no company that's going to be like, we can't hire you just because you're in a different location. Right? So I would say the prospects are really high. Um, you have to do the work. Yes, you have to grind. Yes, absolutely. Everyone's got to do that. Uh, but you do that provided uh, you just put in the work, you will get uh, a good job and a good paying salary for sure.